Wow. Mrs. Torres, I assure you, once we find the students responsible, they will be punished. <laughs> yeah. I know, with the same severity as the boys who haze my son, right? Degrassi's on our school board's watch list. Bullying, low test scores, and now a prank that caused my sons to miss an exam. One more incident, and that could be another principal's problem. Huh. Hiding from the popo? I was just looking for a book. Saving the world one stink bomb at a time. I knew it was you. Someone had to stop Fitz from fighting Adam. One second more and he would have kicked Adam's butt. I was the one he was going to kill. Simpson's coming over. He knows I did it. I'm going to get expelled. Three day suspension max. And only if you get caught. Maybe I should just confess, throw myself at his mercy. Or let me handle it. Sir, I hate to be a rat, but I think you should question Mark Fitzgerald about the stink bomb. Heard him bragging about it. Claire, is this true? Possibly. Okay. I'll look into it. Justice has been served. If Fitz finds out... I'll handle it. Now, let's talk about something more important, like how you're going to thank me for throwing Simpson off your scent. What'd you have in mind? Well, I don't know. I have a French exam. I think you just passed it. <sighs> okay, so for this one, you just divide. How was your French exam? Way too long. Does this mean I have a date to Vegas night? Depends. Do we get a corsage? Just spent an hour in Simpson's office. Someone told him I set off the stink bomb. Me and my loose lips. Not so lippy now, are you? What's a guy got to do to get you out of his grill? <laughs> this isn't over. Dude's a menace. Someone needs to teach him a lesson. Because that worked so well last time. Can't you two just kiss and make up? He's not really my type. I'm serious, Eli. Someone is going to get hurt. The only way to avoid a bully is keep him scared. Or you could lay low with your girlfriend. Twist my rubber arm. Girlfriend. Two, please. Thanks. Two tickets. Quite a gamble. That boy yours might not make it to Vegas tonight. Hurting Eli won't solve anything. Dude, set me up. Because he was trying to protect me. I set off that diversion to stop you from fighting Adam. Good to know. So you'll leave Eli alone? I'll come clean to Simpson. I'll tell him you weren't responsible. Anything. Anything? That doesn't involve breaking a commandment. Got plans for tonight? Kinda, yeah. Break them. Fitzy needs a date to Vegas night. Or I put your little boyfriend in the hospital. If I go with you, you'll leave Eli and Adam alone. As long as they stay out of my face. Take it or leave it. It's one date to a school-sanctioned event. Yeah, I'm sure Eli snapped a gasket. <sighs> Wait, you haven't told him yet? I will, as soon as he's out of his history exam. I'm doing this for him, for us. He'll understand. And ignore that the girl he likes is going to Vegas night with his nemesis. Yeah, sounds just like him. Okay, please tell me an ostrich started World War I. Spit it out, Edwards. Well, you know, it, it, it's funny that you should, you should mention World War I because, well, many say that the, the, the revenge in, uh, enacted by the League of Nations on Germany post-war was responsible for the outbreak of World War II. 
What is she talking about? Claire's going to Vegas night with Fitz. Adam, it's better to rip the bandage off. <laughs> I'm waiting for the punchline. Fitz promised to leave you alone if I went to Vegas night with him. And you said yes. I want this stupid feud to be over. And if I go with Fitz tonight, I think I can make that happen. I suppose crazier things have happened. So you're not mad? Just a little bit. Good. I have an hour before I meet Allie. Coffee? Rain check? Sure. Sold my only guitar Put all my money into a broken car You're a big man, Fitzy. Using Claire to get back at me? The girl came to me, man. I guess she's looking for a boyfriend who wears less eye makeup than she does. You hurt her? And you're yeah. what, tough guy? That's what I thought. But don't you worry. When we have sex, I'll be gentle. <laughs> Zebicac. Makes people barf. Most guys just buy flowers. I want you to slip in Fitz's drink. What happened to being the bigger man? can't. Not anymore. Because? Don't be naive. Fitz is a bad guy. He wants to have sex with you. Oh, then you're right. The appropriate response is to poison him. I told you. This is how you control bullies. Keep them scared. Do you know who also uses those tactics? Terrorists? <laughs> I don't understand. Whose side are you on? I'm not sure. But I know it's not the side that poisons people. 